A week ago I made a video about how polygon modeling was dying and my point was how you rarely have to model anything from scratch nowadays unless if you want a custom or stylized model. But if you want realistic characters, applications like MetaHuman can generate customizable human characters for Unreal Engine or add-ons like Human Generator and Fashionista can do the same for Blender. All these give you customization tools to change the character into what you want. And if you want something for the background, you can use libraries like Render People to get scanned and animated models to use. They also give you some free ones to test out. The quality is similar to what you get with Procedure Crowds add-on for Blender. Another point I made was how Procedure Generation was also reducing the need for polygon modeling. In that, you can use these Procedure Generators for non-character models like plants, buildings, rocks and more. They are generators that can make those things with just a few clicks and get hundreds of variations of what you want. And for everything else, that needs to be hand modeled but not going to be the hero or star of your movie like background characters for cartoon animation. There are artists on sites like cgtrader.com and TurboSquid who have made hundreds of characters in different styles that are already rigged and some even come with animation. These are packages sold with hundreds of models. Some are entire villages with houses, trees, characters, cars and everything you can think of. All pre-made and ready to go for just a few hundreds of dollars. On the video I made, there were some counter arguments made in the comments, most of which I agreed with but that was before this AI called Prolific Dreamer, a high fidelity and diverse text to 3D generator was released. This AI is capable of generating a wide range of models and texturing them. When it comes to modeling, the AI starts with an approximation of the model and progressively adds details and polygons as it goes through its training data. It can also understand how to deal with transparent and translucent parts of the model, which other techniques like photogrammetry and 3D scanning struggle with. It does not only stop at creating the model, it also does texture generation. This AI is built on top of text to image models like stable diffusion, that's why it's so good at texture detail generation. When it comes to texturing the model, first the AI produces the 3D models and then it generates the UVs and that it progressively textures to make a high detail texture that is mapped onto the model. These tools may not be able to generate stylized characters yet, but I imagine given the right training data, it may be possible. In the future, production studios like Marvel or Disney could hire artists to design or model a set of stylized characters and then the AI can use that to generate more in the same style. What is left would be rigging and animating. This may sound discouraging to new and senior artists and it is discouraging but pretending it's not happening would make it even a bigger problem than it is. And to me the quality of this croissant looks better than a 3D scanned version and it's also amazing how it's able to get the texturing right and uh, the roughness map right as well. Uh, you can see how, how the reflections are captured by the texture. It's, it's just on a different level. It struggles in some areas like when it tries to generate this elephant skeleton. It's also adding the skin of the elephant on top of that and compared to how an elephant skeleton looks is completely different from that. It's also adding bone structure into uh, the trunk of the elephant where there is none. But uh, this is like the second generation of text to 3D generators I've seen. The first one I saw was about five months back. A lot of progress has been made here you just look at uh the flowers here i can look at this pineapple it's really really looking good i can't really see any artifacts on this this is equivalent to what you would see for a 3d scanned model you have the snail here it really captures it in uh, great detail and uh, then there is this house i guess this would qualify as sterilized the detail is not there especially in the plants and vegetation but again this is first generation and uh, yeah so I, I would consider this sterilized it handles food very very well uh, you can see how this bread looks amazing you you really think this is a uh, photo scan uh, they can also generate nerves and uh, yeah so just look at this hamburger it seems like it can also understand far as well so yeah and look at this bird 
what the AI does is when you give it a text prompt, it first generates uh, the image, a 2D image of the text prompt, and then uses that to build the 3D version uh, from there. So it uses models like Stable Diffusion to generate something like this as an image, and then works from there to build the 3D model. Yeah, there are a lot of examples. Uh, all links are going to be left in the description for anyone who wants to check out the paper.